Hi and welcome to Arise Cake Creations bringing you the sweeter side of life. I'm Sarah. On this tutorial I will be teaching you how to make this beautiful and delicate Phalaenopsis flower commonly known as a moth orchid and we'll be creating it in sugar in gum paste. If you like what you see then carry on watching. As always I will leave all of the information in the description box below and any related content in the iCards. So let's get started. Take some 28 gauge wire and a small pea sized amount of white gum paste, roll it into a teardrop shape, then take your 28 gauge wire um, with some edible glue, then thread it through to the pointed end of the teardrop shape. Make sure you secure the end um, of the pointed end where the wire is securely to make sure that that um, teardrop does not actually move from the wire. You're then going to flatten it out. Then use either a skewer or a Dresden tool or a veining tool to actually help you hollow out um, the shape. And you almost want to make a slight tip that's at the very, very top. This part is actually, this part of the flower is actually called a column. Um, I think it's called a column. Um, and you just need to keep kind of going until you've actually got like a hollow shape and a tip at the top. Then take some tweezers and squeeze a ridge line just on that very, very top edge as you can see in the video. The gum paste for this particular flower needs to be rolled very, very thinly. So the first part we'll be cutting out is called the throat. So this is the actual center of the flower. So roll some white gum paste onto your groove board or your cell board. Just roll it out and make sure that the actual um, ridge is at the very top edge of where those kind of almost like two arms are. Once it's cut out, um, add some edible glue to a 28 gauge wire and thread it through being careful how to hold the um, center in between your fingers as you thread the wire through. Take a small piece of gum paste and add it right to the very, very center. Then take some tweezers and just squeeze either side so you have a line going through the middle. The lips that we've just cut, we need to elongate them and spread them out. So just use your fingers to gently um, kind of elongate them. And then what we're going to do is curl the ends up so it kind of curls back towards itself. Add this onto a petal to dry and you need to just make a slight curve as it dries. So if you haven't got a petal fork, well, you could also use an apple tray or either an egg carton as well, make sure it's clean um, and just leave it in there in a shape kind of cupped up to dry. We can begin making the sepals. Now there's three of these. So roll your gum paste onto your groove board or your cell board. Um, make sure that when you cut it out, the groove is through the center. Take your 28 gauge wire and add some edible glue to it and thread it through. If you have one, you can use your rose veiner for this. If not, then you can use a veining tool um, and then just make the impression on that. Then just soften the edges and lay it down into a spoon just to, so that it has a gentle curve to it and allow it to dry. 
We can then move on to cutting the petals. Now the petals are exactly the same process as the sepals. Roll out your gum paste onto your board, cut it out, actually vein it in your veiner or use your vein tool. then thin the edge then lay it into a spoon now this for the petals you will need a left and right for this those two once everything has been cut out leave it to dry for at least a few hours but best if possible overnight Take some 24 or 26 gauge wire, make a hook in the end of the wire. Now we're going to make the uh, buds. So what I've got here is actually five buds and I've actually graduated the size, um, smallest to largest. So we're making uh, different size buds here. Thread the wire through the gum paste and create a teardrop shape. Now it's a really soft teardrop shape. Then you're going to take your uh, veining tool and actually just do three lines, three deep lines into each of the buds. Depending on how many buds you make, do this process for every single bud. Before dusting, make sure everything is dry first. On this particular species of moth orchid, the colouring is actually quite subtle, apart from there are a few dots and lines and squiggly lines um, that occur in the centre. So I've just pulled together some sugar flare dust colours um, in pink and yellow and green and orange and I'm just going to mix these colours together and apply them to the centre. So I'm going in first with some yellow, so just gently dusting the centre with some yellow and also mixing it with some cornflour as well just to keep that colour quite subtle and soft. Um, and then just using some pink, just literally touching some pink just along the outer edges and a little bit on the inside. Using some lemon extract, I'm just going to make up a darker shade of burgundy to add the dots and the stripes. They're almost like tiger stripes on the inside of the throat of this flower. So it's a really, really dark um, burgundy and I'm going to use a fine paintbrush just to add that detail in. Also add a touch of yellow to the column part of the flower and also I've just added a touch of yellow to the two petals as well, just at the base. We can then go ahead and dust up the uh, buds. Now obviously if the bud is bigger just use less green and show more white as it graduates down to the smaller size bud then the smallest bud will be mostly green. We can then begin assembling the flower together. Now start with the throat part and bend the wire at a right angle. Take the column and add it to where the wire joins. I should add the colour tape that I'm using for this is mid green. Um, don't forget to activate the glue by stretching the tape and make sure that you actually tape the tape right underneath both the column and the central part of the flower. Um, now be very, very careful when you do this because these parts are very, very delicate. We can then go on to um, taping the petal, so both the left and the right petal. Um, again, just be very, very delicate with the petals because the, font, uh, the gum paste was rolled so thinly, these are very delicate. So just be, continue the process of actually taping both these petals to the centre part of the flower.
Um, then do the head flower, so it's just a single flower that goes in between, so it's actually the one nearest to the column um, section of the flower, so tape that one on also. Then tape the lower left and right sepals on as well. Each of those just go either side at the bottom. Now before we can actually bring all of the buds together, um, we just need to add the same colour tape to all of the buds that we have here. So just do that for every single bud, just tape the tape down very tightly until all of them are covered. Assembling the buds we will start with the smallest one first, now just put a slight kink in the first one and then on the second one just add a slight right angle so that we can actually bring them together and begin taping them. Um, continue this process all the way down by staggering each bud slightly lower than the one before. To extend the stems for the bud, we're adding three 18 gauge wires. Now just add them in and continue taping down. So it's just one continuous stem and one continuous tape all the way down. Bend the bud stem at a right angle, so there should be two kind of right angles, and one of those angles we're actually going to add the flower to it. Now you also need to bend the flower slightly at a right angle as well, just a slight curve, so that we can add the buds and the flower together and tape them together. And there you have it, um, your beautiful moth orchid all made and completed. I absolutely love this flower, it's so delicate and so beautiful. I really hope you like this tutorial. If you make this flower then don't forget that you can share it with me over on Instagram or Facebook at Arise Cake Creations. Please like and share, it helps with my videos being picked up by YouTube's algorithm so you will not miss any of my videos. Okay, thanks for watching, see you soon.